A shocking poll on the Trump indictment, what Bill Barr just said, Joe Biden's America, and a special invitation. This is Steve Elliott with Grassfire with our special report for our VIPs who are the core, the very backbone of everything we're doing here at Grassfire. I'm so thankful for your VIP partnership. If you're watching this on special invitation, I hope you'll enjoy this special report. Let's get right into it. You may have heard of Bill Barr. He was the head of the Justice Department under President Trump, but he's been no fan of President Trump's uh, in the aftermath uh, of, of, the, of the Trump presidency. But even Bill Barr has come out very, very strongly in opposition to what's happening with this 34-count indictment uh, coming out of New York City. He was asked in a recent interview, do you think there is still no merit to the case? This is after he had read the indictment because we were all speculating. Everyone was speculating at first, but then finally they released the indictment. Let's take a look again at what Barr said. Yeah, I don't think it has any merit. I think it transparently is an abuse of pro prosecutorial power to accomplish political end. I think it is an unjust case not to say that every legal challenge that the president faces is unjustified, but this one especially is, does not have any merit, transparently an abuse of prosecutorial power to accomplish a political end in an unjust case. Bill Barr has not been alone. Even rhinos uh, like Mitt Romney have come out against it, although, of course, Romney had to slam President Trump in, in coming out against the indictment, is that this is across the board. Anyone who's looking at this objectively is recognizing that this is a total farce. In fact, the DA didn't even uh, indicate what law the president broke. This is really outrageous. There's no basis or no merit in law, but that doesn't seem to impact the American people. This is a recent poll that just came out, showed half of Americans believe that President Trump deserved to be indicted in the Stormy Daniels hush money case. Half of Americans agreed that he should be indicted. Look at this. The survey of 566 adults conducted April 6th to 7th found that the number of respondents who believe Trump should be charged jumped five percentage point to 50%. Half of Americans, despite the fact that it's resoundingly considered an abuse of prosecutorial power, it's a farce, it's only being done to attack President Trump in a re-election campaign to try to keep him from being able to run from pres for president. It doesn't matter the facts of this case. Half of the people that you visit and see in your day-to-day -day life, maybe the people you see at Walmart or anywhere else you may go, half of them, according to this poll, think President Trump should be prosecuted. Now, we had some debate in our office. Is this, a, is this a valid, legitimate poll? I mean, obviously, you have to look at the source. ABC News, they had a small sample size. But I think for us to, to doubt that half of America thinks that Trump should be in indicted is for us to underestimate the power of the mind washing, the brainwashing that's going on from the left media and their cohorts in Washington, D.C. and the deep state and Hollywood who all have a deep, passionate hatred for President Trump and for you and me, anyone who dares to stand for liberty and limited government, call for the, uh, the, the borders to be secured, wants a real stable dollar, uh, wants to support small business and lower taxes, doesn't want to send all our money to Ukraine, you're a domestic terrorist. And so because of the brainwashing, half of Americans now actually think President Trump should be indicted. You know, you can take action. Our VIPs have the opportunity at an 80% discount to send faxes right now to key members of Congress and let them know where you stand on this indictment. This is a great access for our VIPs, 80% discount. Please make sure that you go to your VIP uh, access page right off of grassfire.com and send your faxes today. You know, there's another feature, something else we're featuring in uh, in our in your uh, daily briefings, which are coming out uh, three to five times a week uh, in the morning. It's the first thing you'll get in the morning in your inbox between 7.30 and 8. We're featuring Joe Biden's America. It's actually quite shocking what we're finding. Uh, there's a, a piece on Tucker Carlson on transgenderism in America. It's fastest growing religion. It's, it's so disturbing to watch 
But we're going to be chronicling what Joe Biden is doing to this country, the effect of this administration and the emphasis and how they're destroying the very social fabric of our nation. It's going to be right in your VIP uh, daily morning briefing every single day. I hope you'll access that uh, as a VIP. If you're not a VIP, I want to invite you to become a VIP. It's just $15 a month to support Grassfire. We need your help. We need a core of citizens who will stand with us as we get the word out to hundreds of thousands of Americans, get the truth out to hundreds of thousands of Americans. As a, v, as a VIP, you're going to receive certain benefits. You're going to get that VIP News Digest I, I have talked about uh, in the mornings. It's all the top headlines. I think it's the best summary of the news that you're going to get. Here's one. 80% off our, our fax fires. Just, just accessing one fax fire a month will basically... Uh, more than compensate for the cost of being a VIP. Also, VIPs get unlimited my my Congress faxes to your two senators and your rep anytime at any topic for 99 cents. And you our new impact portal you can access that delivers your emails and your texts directly to members of Congress. Also, exclusive access to our online library of resources. And we have all this for our VIPs. So if you're not a VIP, please become a VIP today. A stand with Grassfire. We're looking for 100 team members to become VIPs this month, between now and the end of the month, to help us to fight back against the incredible hostility that we're feeling. In the past 12 months, we've had our emails shut down three times by hostile ISPs who are saying that that we're not allowed to send emails. Most recently, we couldn't speak to 100,000 Grassfire team members for more than three months. We just recently re restored that ability, but this is the battle that we're in. It's a battle that we fight every day, and we're not supported by any large organizations, no political parties. We're truly a voice. We want to be a voice of grassroots Americans, patriotic grassroots Americans who stand for liberty and limited government and are willing to, to, to stand for our country against this onslaught that we see. Thanks again. This is Steve Elliott with Grassfire for this special VIP report.